Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So it would seem as though Meghan and Harry are committing yet another blunder. They are planning to launch their own UK TV shows or TV shows of some description and they are at risk of angering the Queen. Obviously the palace and palace aides and the rest of the royal firm are at the edge of their seats in anticipation for what Meghan and Harry have up their sleeves. They would like to become their own kind of media company and they want to launch television programs internationally. Now, of course, this is in conflict with their agreement. Of course, this is a major conflict to their duties as royals. Even though their titles are dormant, they are still members of the royal firm and they are not complete outcasts as yet. Any kind of trading in on the royal name is of course a breach and exploitation of what it is to be members of the royal family. So I'm going to get into this. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry could risk angering the Queen after it has emerged the couple plan to launch their own TV shows. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are looking to expand their portfolio by venturing into production on television programs both in the US and the UK. Meghan and Harry quit their senior roles within the royal family last March and have already signed multi-million pound deals with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify. The mega deals to produce documentaries and podcasts are in collaboration with their own Archwell Foundation, which includes Archwell Audio and Archwell Productions. And now it has emerged the couple have filed papers with the UK's Intellectual Property Office for trademark protection for Archwell Productions. A source told The Sun, Meghan and Harry's approach to their TV ambitions has always been serious. It's hard to imagine them coming up with the next only fools and horses. The documents were issued last month and it is understood they give the couple the rights product, motion picture films, televisions, series and videos. Meanwhile, earlier, it was claimed the Queen and Prince Philip were forced to make a huge royal U-turn by sharing their private medical matters after admitting they had received a vaccine. Buckingham Palace issued a rare statement to confirm the 94-year-old head of state and her husband, 99, had been given the injection last week. It is understood the Queen decided the information should be made public to prevent inaccuracies and further speculation. Daily Express told Royal Reporter Richard Palmer the Royals were likely to have been under pressure to share the news of their jab to help persuade more Britons to do the same. He tweeted, the Queen and Philip have been under pressure to go public because the government is desperate to boost confidence in the jabs amid polls suggesting at least one in five will refuse inoculation. Royal sources had insisted it was a private medical matter for the couple. And that is the end of the article. And of course, the Queen has a lot on her plate, as does Prince Philip and the rest of the senior royals. The least of their worries is Meghan and Harry. But what is worrying is their desperation to constantly be in the media limelight. Now, this, of course, is new news to me. I did not realise that they had made yet another set of trademark requests. And it would not surprise me if they are going to create TV shows that could possibly exploit the rest of the firm further. So someone has gone on to say, I read all this wonderful news about the grifters and their wonderful deals with Netflix, Spotify and now TV shows. They have still not spoken about all of these deals that they are signing. Someone else has said their behaviour is just not appropriate even for ex-royals. Of course their intention is to make a lot more money and they are actively cashing in on the real name as much as they possibly can. 
So that is the end of it. Tell me what you think, guys. I think that the Queen has a lot on her hands. And I think that they are definitely, at this point, really in breach of their agreement that they made in January 2020. But they have still been extremely quiet over what exactly they will be doing on these TV shows. So I guess we will have to wait and see. I'll be back for another video. Bye, guys.